In this video, I want to show you how you can transfer your photos and videos from your iPhone to a Mac or to any kind of external hard drive very easily. I recently had this problem with my iPhone 11 Pro Max, which contained like 7,000 photos and videos, and I wanted to move them to an external SSD drive. And in that case, I just was tempted to use AirDrop, but this is not efficient for 7,000 photos. And I also wanted to like connect it to a computer, but if you open up Finder, you cannot really just drag and drop the photos from one thing to another, just like you can do on Windows. It works differently. But there is, however, one app installed, pre-installed in our Macs, which is called Image Capture. For a lot of people, it's an unknown app and it's a shame that it is so, because this is a very powerful app which you can use to transfer photos. So if you go ahead and search for image capture, you're gonna get there, but also if you go to all of the apps, the grid view of all of them, it will probably be in a folder called Other, so there you should be able to find it. So once you open it up, it is very simple to use. You should also have a cable with, uh, with which you're gonna be connecting your iPhone to a, a computer, so most likely USB-C to Lightning. So you just connect it and just plug it in, and then open up the app. In this, you're gonna be prompted to trust the computer, so go ahead and do that, and like type the passcode in, and it's gonna take a while until some photos are gonna get loaded, but once there, you're gonna be presented with all of the photos which are located on your iPhone. And the possibility is to download all of the photos or just to select those that you need. But at the bottom of the window, there is this import to section. And if you click on that, you have the control and you can decide where the photos are going to be stored. And in our case, if we want to store it on an external drive, we can choose that right away so it doesn't even get like stored on the MacBook first and then moved to an external hard drive, we're just gonna get there right away. So we just click on it, scroll down and click on the other option and you're gonna be presented with the finder and the way to click on any folder that you want. Once selected, if you click on download all, it should download and import all of the files like videos and photos. But in my personal opinion, it only did like 3000 of them out of 7000. So it was definitely not all of them. And the way I noticed that it works is that it starts with the latest photos and usually the biggest gems and the pictures that we want to get to are probably the oldest ones. So make sure to get through all of the photos. In my case, I just checked the folder and I noticed that there is only like 3000 of the photos, so I knew that something is really going on. But if you come back to this app, those photos that have been imported already have a green check next to them, which is very easy to do and very easy to keep track of. You can change the grid view to list view, I find it to be a lot better, and also sort it by the date which they have been added by, because like I said, it starts, if you click on download all, it starts with the latest one, so you can see and scroll to see where it stops, so you can just keep on going there. So this is like how it works. However, if you unplug the iPhone and then like close the app and start the process once again, then those green ticks will disappear, so you will definitely lose track of what's going on. In my case, I noticed that there was only like half of the photos imported, so I just clicked on download again, download all again, and it did the very same thing. Like, I had the folder full of duplicate photos, which wasn't something I wanted to achieve. So, like I said, I turned on the list view and started manually selecting all of the photos which haven't had the green tick next to them and therefore haven't been imported just yet. And after that, I just clicked on a download. But still, it didn't manage to download and import all 3000 left of the photos, so I had to like split it up to categories, like I just did it for like uh, up to 500 photos in one take and so on, so you have to play around with it. I'm not sure what was really the cause of this, but yeah, I'm saying and telling you exactly my personal experience. So hopefully this video helped you, hopefully you found something valuable in it. Like I said, I really do hope that you uh, enjoyed it and you can leave a thumbs up, you can leave a comment saying whatever you want. I will most likely get to your comment and reply to you because that's what I'm trying to do. 
So thanks a lot for watching. You can subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. And yes, we can see each other later. Have a great rest of the day.